All right, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another reaction video, and I'm here to take a look at the Pokemon Direct for January 9th, 2020. Uh, I'm watching it live right now on Twitch.tv. Uh, there's a bunch of people in here right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. I'm going back to bed after this, too, because I have nothing to do today, So, like I usually do. Uh, so sleepy time for me, or a little bit more after this. But uh, I'm hoping we're going to see something really cool. Like, I'm sure they're going to talk about Pokemon uh, Sleep. They'll talk about Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Probably new, you know, Pokemon, new raids or whatever. Um, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Silver, Gold, whatever. I'll take any of them. They get ported to Switch. Because, I mean, they went to 3DS, so... That'd be freaking sweet. I'd, I'd be so hyped. <laughs> I haven't played Sword yet, so... Uh, I'm not personally hyped. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. Yay. I'm Shihara from the Pokemon Company. Shihara. Sub. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Two. Let's get started with the first topic. Pokemon Tournament 2. Have a look at the following footage. Okay, okay. I like when they lead you to this. Oh, 2006 what? Oh, is this going to be a... Uh... Oh, is this going to be Pokemon Ah, oh, it's Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> okay. I was thinking, like, what's the... What's the DS one that came out in 2006? I guess it was Mystery Dungeon. What? Oh, my God. Look at the background. Oh. I have turned into a Pikachu. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. DX, nice. DX. Nice. Oh, I love the I love the look of this. This looks good. It has like a, a art book style to it. That's really nice. I like the way they move too. It's like simple. I never played this game when it first came out. Actually, that's not true. I did play it, but I never I never finished it. I think I when when I was younger I was a little because I think I just I didn't really hear about it I just saw it and I wanted it and got it and was confused that it wasn't like a regular Pokemon game. But that's cool, nice. It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Almost. Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Okay. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. You yeah, got me. Will be released that was March a nice surprise. Whoa! That's really soon. <laughs> I was expecting that. We'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop, available later today. Carry over your save data. That's awesome. You'll be able to carry over your save data to the full version of the game once purchased. So wow. This opportunity to get a sample of the fun. It's a nice surprise. I really like the way it looks too. I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Oh, yeah? Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. So, only two topics. So that means this is going to just be uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Hello, everyone. Right? I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Omori, also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. I will. The Gala region is a bastard. I will play this eventually. I do have it. We so. suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. So DLC. We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Oh, okay. There are notable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. I hope it's not going to be just old Pokemon now, that are supposed to be in the game. We've released new titles set in the same region as previous games. Yeah. Such as Pokemon Platinum Version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Yeah. Yep. 
This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be it will be significantly less. Using the save data you're already playing with. Yeah, I, I figured. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Please have a look. Okay. Let's see, put Geodude in it, you got me. Put Geodude back in. That would actually be, that would actually make me upset. You have to buy the expansion pass to get Geodude. Like, come on. <laughs> Continues. Oh, we, we, where are we going? I don't know this world yet. I haven't played this. Is this concept art? You showing me concept art right now? Okay, is that a new area? Was Slowpoke not in the original game? What was the point of that? Uh, new customization items? Whoa, 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 hold on, wait, what the hell? Oh my god, what? Holy shit! That Blastoise is, is a small little boy. Yeah, you showing me too much. Alright, are you gonna show me gameplay? The Isle of um, Amor? Is it armor? It's probably armor. Amor. <laughs> It's just armor. <laughs> it's, it's just armor. Makes it sword and shield. I'll, well, a more would have a U in it, actually. Yeah, so definitely not. Why would it be a more? Why would it be that? <laughs> it's armor. That was wrong with me. I'm tired. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Is it showing an armor expansion right now? Oh, Slowpoke again. Oh, he turns into that? What was that? Did he scribble out the face? Who is this? Oh, stop with the Slowpoke teases. Slowpoke. Whoa, he's got some attitude. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he looks like, um... Zapdos? The Crown of Tundra. Okay. So two expansions are shown right here. Is it... Or part one, okay, part one and part two. I thought maybe, like, they're gonna do, like, this one's for sword, this one's for shield, which would be really shitty. Is this Pokemon Tournament 2? It'd be amazing. This is not actual game footage. Nah, I, I think we're still in, uh... Sword land. Sword and shield land. What the hell? Who are you, babe? <laughs> okay. What did you think of this first look? The Pokemon Sword expansion pass. It's supposed to be about Pokemon 20 minutes long, so we have a lot more. We got another 12 minutes. Planned to be released June 2020, and the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in fall 2020. Okay, so if you buy first time ever, there's like Pokemon something to look forward to in a new Pokemon game after way after it's already done. It's interesting. Each part offers a different adventure. And we got a new Pokemon game coming in a couple weeks. I mean, a couple months. Areas of the Galar region and meet new Not new, but you know. There. there are two versions of the expansion pass. 
one for Pokemon Sword, and one for Pokemon oh. Shield. Different Pokemon will appear in the different versions, oh. and you'll also I was hoping if you buy one, one, you get the other one, We're too. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. <laughs> oh, now, no, without further case. ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Oh, okay. So we're going to be Mr. talking Tommy? about it. We need to be talking about it now. Okay. Hello. Well, look at Pikachu Game tail. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. <laughs> okay. The Isle of Armor and the Crown. Just said the Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Passes. So today. We'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you. Just you did. New what are we? Do, what are we doing? We're gonna look at them again. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. Couldn't have a ten-minute direct. Let us introduce so. the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Take a look. Okay. Okay, we're we actually going. Oh. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Galar region, known as the Isle of Armor. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find yep. beaches, so bogs, stuff. forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. Like Geodude. Geodude's in a, There's a, in a aisle. Pokemon I don't know why that makes island. sense. doesn't, but I want them. I don't care. And you'll take up an apprenticeship <laughs> under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. That's cool. This is Mustard. Oh, Mustard? He's also oh, he looks like a perv. Dude, like the Master well. Roshi of Pokemon. Fact, Mustard has occupied the Mustard. city himself in the past. <laughs> You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. Mustard. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a poison type user. Okay. When playing with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you better have a funny you'll be training with Avery, Avery come on. who is a psychic type you user. You got Mustard, you can't give me They're Avery and Clara. So they can someday have a oh, they separate, wow, they're separate, separate rivals, huh? Okay. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central That's to the It's the one story. that we saw zoom in, I'm assuming. No, never mind. Cub Fu. Cub Fu. Oh, that's a great name. Become stronger with single-minded dedication. <laughs> Cub Fu. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. <laughs> Mustard. Once you complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. Urshifu. Urshifu is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. That's cool. There is single strike style. A fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There is also rapid strike style. A fighting and water oh, type style. Oh man, some Kenshiro shit? A torrent of rapid strikes. Yeah, da, 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 da. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. It <laughs> has been revealed. Right now. Oh, oh, that's, that was it. Okay. As well as a different G-Max move. Okay. You'll be able to evolve your Kung Fu into an Urshifu okay. in one of these two styles. Single strike style or rapid strike style. Oh, no. Is each adventure. style Urshifu part of each expansion? Uh, brand new ability. And it also I'd has be able a to pick. for each of its two styles. <laughs> Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. Okay. <laughs> we also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, Whoa. and Antelia. Oh, look at that guy. Three Pokemon you team up with in the Galar region. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing their new forms and new G-Max moves. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. There are new fashion items, and you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. <laughs> we hope you'll look forward oh. to the new experiences coming in the Isle Love of Love that Blastoise. He's, he's like burning Godzilla version of, of, of Blastoise. Okay, next, I'd like to discuss the Super powered. The are we actually going to see something of this? I'd be surprised. I thought maybe they saved this for E3. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. Nothing. This Buy the first expansion, losers. The swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, 
People live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokemon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Cool. Fitting right in with this area's theme. Can't wait to see some more. There will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, right on. we'd like to introduce Calyrex. The this guy, yeah. Pokemon you'll discover during okay, your so he's okay. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized <laughs> by its graceful, regal movements. Get ready to experience a never-before-told story. Oh, he's got! Oh, he's got a Triforce. I see it. You can't hide from me. Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all oh, kinds of oh, I don't Pokemon, all these Pokemon. Uh, adventures I don't know. in the Crown Tundra. Around the DS areas, era is when I stopped. I know it was Pokemon song, right? The moon. Uh, it also DS area is when I started to slip Pokemon out of Pokemon. Also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. Hat Pokemon. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Hell yeah! Made myself Plus, look fresh. For you to I actually have to start the game for a sec. Including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokemon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Galar region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them, too. There will be Pokemon dens as well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. I heard the Wild Area we'll is the coolest information part. About them in future news reports, so we still got four tuned. minutes! Then I gotta drop... Anything else, I don't think. What did you think? We at Game Freak are all working hard to bring you new content. So you can spend more time having fun in the gallery. We'll give you some new content for money. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Thank you, Mr. Tani. <laughs> On the Isle of Armor... And in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the Galar okay, region before. Okay, so we're going to still talk about it. There will be more than 200 Whoa, Pokemon Oh, look at this. Wow, straight out of Maya. Teams, <laughs> including the legendary Pokemon mentioned before. Additionally... Well, they actually just showed you straight up. Oh, okay. Sword and Pokemon Shield That's funny. That will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Oh, yeah? These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means, such as trading. Okay, alright, yeah. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their game from the cloud service Pokemon Home as long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Packs. Okay. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. We intend to release even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. I'll wait. It's fine. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Yeah? Geodude's in it? It seems like you're more uh, likely raids. to run into yeah. Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. Friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara, while in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your team. 
Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Don't forget to check it out. <laughs> what did you think? Today, we've About finally been minutes. able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. Hoping to we hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different adventure. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future! My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which will cost $80 each, Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, Whoa. will be available Whoa. for pre purchase on Nintendo eShop later today. $30! Whoa! You'll also be able to access Nintendo eShop directly. Oh, wait, uh, uh, okay. I, I'm assuming that's okay. Never mind. That's probably for the. That's just for the pass. Okay, so you get both expansions. Okay, I'm assuming. I, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, oh, you get an Eevee shirt. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Okay, so we got a little surprise in the beginning. I was, I was, that was legitimately surprised with the, 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 Pokemon, mystery dungeon thing. That was actually really cool. Uh, everything else was what I expected. I was hoping for like, oh, you, uh, like even as a a quick little thing, like later today, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. But it makes sense after after they said two topics. I was like, okay, they're probably not going to, especially not at the end. They wouldn't want to undermine everything they just showed you like here's all the new stuff with like shadow drops of old pokemon games like people would just immediately forget about all the new pokemon sword and shield stuff if all the older pokemon games were on the the switch uh but i mean i, I mean i could play them with 3ds I, I, I did buy them with 3ds when they came out uh I, I was just like hoping it would be coming to switch you know just like yeah it's a switch you know it's, it's on the switch now you know switch is good i like switch the 3ds is good too i love 3ds but switch is great i don't know <laughs> anyway i'm tired uh it, it was it was a fine direct uh i got up for it and uh yeah i, I figured i i wouldn't like be a hundred percent like into it but uh it, it was fun it, it was entertaining enough and uh some new pokemon that look crazy i will i, I am gonna play pokemon sword soon so i heard it's a much more uh dumbed down straightforward uh pokemon game which is what i've been wanting pokemon to be for a long time or at least go back to how it used to be where it, i wouldn't say it was dumbed down but yeah it's definitely more simpler back then anyway now it's like long cutscenes and, and intricate stories and and uh, just so much. Anyway. <laughs> That's it. See you later. Goodbye.